Do you want a neat workshop? Do you want to have an overview of all your tools? Well, this decorative wall is ideal and is also very flexible in layout because you can actually move everything as you want. Definitely make sure to keep watching this Tool Doctor series. In the previous part, the Tool Doctor made a multifunctional wall for his new workshop. Meanwhile, the wall has been painted and now will continue making accessories for it. A place to hang your pliers can be quickly created. First, draw out which recesses you need, engaging in crafting on a piece of wood. It is important to note that this can vary from one pair of pliers to another, so it is crucial to be mindful of the potential differences. Also divide the pliers evenly to have a nice overview. Now choose a collar with a specified diameter, similar to the cutout that was sketched. Cut your board to the right size. Put it on a scrap piece and drill the holes through. Just verify if you are able to obtain the handles of your pliers through the openings. You connect the board to the wall by inserting it into the narrow space between the bars using a sliding motion. And you have a spot so fast to ensure your pliers are stored in a safe and convenient manner, providing easy access whenever you need them. Certainly you can earn significantly more than this, fully customized to your possessions. For the keys we will first lay them out on a shelf. After that, we proceed to mark the center of each individual key on the keyboard, ensuring accuracy and precision in our measurements and markings. Then we drill at these locations. Here we screw in hooks where the keys can hang. You have the option to use a saw to cut the plank to the desired size once again, ensuring it fits perfectly in your project. It's a bit wide, so we also trim its length. This doesn't have to be perfect, so a jigsaw can do the job here. The keys have the possibility to be placed on the wall. And we are proceeding to a board specifically designated for our screwdrivers. Arrange them once more and make holes in the board at the measurements that were marked. Place your screwdrivers here. We are making another box for our drawing and measuring tools. This should not run completely over the side, so use a small beam to finish off, to demarcate where the side wall may come. Take measurements of the sides and then also measure the dimensions of your bottom board using a tape measure or ruler. Align the components with one another. Temporarily hold everything together with tape. Clamp together until the glue is completely dry. The dustpan may be hung on the wall. We screw a hook onto a piece of scrap wood. TV Gelderland is a regional TV station based in Gelderland, Netherlands, providing programming in the year 2021. At this moment, we are keeping an eye on the latest updates regarding hand saws and will provide you with timely information. Mark the hanging points on the side. Drill through dots.
Next, using a strong adhesive, carefully attach the wooden dowels into the designated openings, ensuring a secure connection. You cut the dowels to size. If needed, you can make a recess. Making dowels where saw can hook behind. This is also ready. In the meantime, our tray is dry and can be sanded. TV Gelderland 2021, a regional TV station providing news and entertainment in Gelderland, a province in the Netherlands, for viewers in the local area. There you go, additionally prepared and ready for you to use. Now for the hammers, create fresh drawings of your cutouts. This varies per hammer. Create openings by drilling holes in order to properly position and insert the handle through them, ensuring a secure and functional attachment. Using the big hammer, we pull the recess through by using a jigsaw. Using the claw hammer, our opening is simply not large enough. Here also, the jigsaw will be used to make the hole larger. Our wall is really starting to become a tool wall now. Likewise, we produce hanging systems to suit all types of work tools, guaranteeing effective organization and convenient access in any work setting. But it doesn't stop there. Anyone who wants to doesn't have to use this wall as a tool wall, but can make it decorative. By utilizing furniture panels, for instance, furnish them with an edge band to achieve a polished edge. You confirm this by going over the band with a hot iron. This is how you heat up the glue and stick it well. Trim off the extra edge banding using a knife. Carefully sand the edge until smooth. Smooth and beautiful. With these panels, you are now able to create shelves. And with that, you have many possibilities once more. Create a multifunctional wall for the kitchen with space for herbs, kitchen tools, and cookbooks. Or maybe you'd benefit from a decorative wall where you can store your books, plants, and decorations. You can easily adjust the wall to the size of what you need with accessories that match you and in the size you need. So, I am really very satisfied with my result. In one respect, I see all my tools available too. Be creative, take different plates, take different color of plates, use it for in the kitchen, or for example, a small nightstand, that's also possible. We will see each other for a next tool, doctor. Bye-bye. <laughs>